It's my second conference, but my first time speaking. I am here to speak in favour of the motion that this conference calls upon the NEC to petition all public and civil service bodies to provide access to protected funding for the purchase of disability supports to include, but not limited to, the purchase of assistive technology for hearing loss. This motion is very personal to me and is my hope that its approval will mean that others with disabilities will not have to endure the discrimination, stress, indignity and disappointment that I had to endure. And um, back in 2010, I woke up one morning and I had sudden hearing loss. I like my job, I'm good at my job. It was such a challenge for me for to be able to have accommodations made, to have that support and considerations. Um, it, it brought me to my knees, absolutely brought me to my knees. Had it not been for um, the support of the union and my branch members, I probably would have given up. Um, but that's all they wanted me to do, was to go away. You're not just voting to improve the communication for the autistics. You're not just opening the door for these others. You're opening the door for yourselves. You're opening the door for your future. Because so often, you don't realise how close you are to a disability. How many of us who will get arthritis will have a disability. This conference requests that the incoming National Executive of Force Trade Union take steps to reverse outsourced work in order to bring back direct labour where it has been rolled within the public sector. Uh, this will be very, very close to home for us uh, in Dublin Muno branch. He's all seeing the lads cleaning up after the riots and all that. They might not be there the next time if this continues, you know. So please vote for this motion. Thanks very much. Nearly one in two workers in this state, not in the union, want one. They would vote for one. And I think more inspiring for us, the next generation of workers, our children, those who've been shut out of the housing market, who've been uh, set aside when it comes to rents and accommodation, 67% of the 16 to 24 year olds, not in a union, want one. If a worker chooses to access collective bargaining by joining a union, the employer has a veto. And I think in 2024, 100 plus years since the foundation of the state, this obnoxious imbalance must be eradicated. The uh, increased level of violence against our members and uh, your library staff indicate the level of racism and the level of uh, the, the attempts by the far right to change the narrative to say that Ireland is full. We don't subscribe to that. I think the Irish Congress of Trade Unions has been to the forefront of taking back O'Connell Street, standing in O'Connell Street in Dublin and saying, hang on a minute, we don't agree with what happened here when the riots happened and we certainly don't believe that Ireland is full. The Irish trade union movement, North and South, have been to the forefront not just since uh, the Gaza, the war in Gaza, but obviously a lot prior to that with the trade union Friends of Palestine. In our thousands, in our millions. In our thousands, in our millions. A big force of welcome to the ambassador. Let me, as I said, express my sincere gratitude to Ireland and to the people of Ireland, of Ireland for your strong solidarity, for being vocal on the side of justice, on the side of humanity, and for your constant support during both the good and the difficult times. You never fail our call for freedom. We, the Palestinians, deserve to live, deserve to be viewed just as worthy as other human beings for our right to self-determination to be acknowledged and we will never give up our right of return. We will never give up our free Palestine. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. Thank you, Ireland. Thank you, the Irish people.